Alabama is littered with Confederate memorials, which isn't that surprising considering Alabama was considered the heart of the Confederacy during the Civil War. But some are more confusing than others. For example, this one in Birmingham doesn't really make sense because the city of Birmingham didn't exist during the Civil War. But a really strange one is in Winston County. It's strange because the majority of men from Winston County who fought in the Civil War actually fought for the Union against the Confederates. What can you tell us about Unionist Alabamians and their fighting units that supported the Union during the Civil War? That question was submitted to Ask Alabama by Bill B. So in 1860, Abraham Lincoln is elected president under a fairly new party called the Republican Party. The Republican Party's biggest platform was the abolition of slavery. So when Lincoln was elected president, the slave-owning states collectively went crazy and started planning to secede from the Union. Now the folks in Winston County, Alabama, like much of the state, had voted against Lincoln, but thought secession was a bit of an overkill response. The reasoning was, one, their families fought and died to create this country less than two generations ago. They're not going to war with it. And two, they didn't own slaves. Winston County, like much of the northern part of Alabama and Tennessee, contains unique patches of dense and hilly forests that aren't great for plantations, which means farms there weren't really mass-producing cotton for profit like in the southern part of the state. They were growing enough food to stay alive that year. Hence, they really had no need for slave labor. And there were very few slaves in Winston County compared to other parts of the state. So folks in Winston County were not eager to fight and die to protect the assets of a bunch of rich southern plantation owners who didn't give a crap about the people in the hills. So a convention was held at Looney's Tavern in Winston County where thousands of men from Winston and neighboring counties drafted some resolutions. One was to say Winston County would remain neutral in the Civil War. Leave us alone and we'll leave you alone. And second, they declared that the act of Alabama seceding from the Union was illegal. But if it was legal, then it was also legal for Winston County to secede from Alabama. Now, they never actually did secede from the state, but that threat was out there and it earned them the nickname the Free State of Winston. But the Confederacy had no patience for Union sympathizers, and in an effort to quash anti-Confederate rhetoric, they sent conscription mobs up to Winston County. These groups would round up all the men of fighting age and give them the option to take the Confederate oath and join the army or go to jail. If they chose jail, they had five days to change their tune, and if they didn't choose to take the oath, at the end of the five days, they were taken outside and shot in the back. Now, rounding up fathers and brothers and shooting them in public isn't a great way to change hearts and minds. So a lot of fighting age men fled to the hills and caves to avoid conscription. While there, their stance on the war changed from a position of neutrality to a position of, that's it, screw the Confederacy. Hundreds of men from Winston County crossed the battle lines and joined up with the Union Army under the 1st Alabama Cavalry Regiment. This force of over 2,000 men from Alabama joined the battles against the Confederacy. In particular, they were the escort of General William Sherman during his march from Atlanta to Savannah, where he destroyed everything in his path, including military encampments, industrial facilities, and farms. This march destroyed the Southern economy and ultimately ended the Confederacy. And that's the story of the free state of Winston and the Alabama men that rebelled against the rebels. I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Reckon. Do you have questions about Alabama that you want answered? The Ask Alabama team is standing by. You can submit your questions to al.com slash ask. And be sure to follow Reckon by al.com on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.